couple of things I want you to know about our Bible school this year. We are practicing the CDC guidelines for COVID-19. We're not wearing masks for our filming because so, it's easier to understand us without masks, but we are social distancing and we are wearing masks when we're not filming. Um, we check our temperatures and none of us are showing symptoms of the virus because um, even we want to stay healthy. And even though we're not showing you that we're following the guidelines, we are. And we hope that you are too because we want you all to stay safe and healthy. Also, so that you know, we have permission from group, group publishing to show the videos and materials online on YouTube just for a short time. So they will be taken down August 15th when Bible school is over. So be sure you see them before that day. Hi, welcome to this year's Vacation Bible School, Rocky Railway, where Jesus' power pulls us through. I'm so glad that you're all joining us this year. We'll be pretending that we're on a steam train going through the wild and beautiful Rocky Mountains. We'll be learning about trusting Jesus and how his awesome power gives us power to do many things. You've gotten a bag of activities that we've made for you. And in the bag, you're going to find a big bag every day that has the day on it. For example, day one will look like this. Um, some of you from bigger families may get two bags that say day one on them because they may not be big, to sh big enough to show everything. Um, besides the bags for each day, in your big bag you will get, elementary kids will be getting a Tracking with Jesus Bible book. And preschoolers, your activities will be in the day one, day two, each daily bag. And because we have so much fun with the music of Vacation Bible School, we're giving each family a DVD of the music, which I hope you have fun with. We'll show you some of the videos during our openings and closings, um, but I hope you have fun with it and play and sing and dance along with them when you're not doing Bible school. So in the numbered bags for each day, you'll find the things you need for that day. Your Bible buddy will be in there, so you can dig around for that. Um, your Rocky Mountain animal that helps you remember your Bible point for the day. Um, preschoolers, you will find your activity sheet. You will have a craft in there for each day, but don't open those until you watch your craft video. And then we're putting a snack in there for each day. Now when you have your snack, there's a, in your Tracking with Jesus Bible book here, um, there's, it talks about activities that you should do during your snack time. They call it chew time and choo choo snacks. And there's just little activities that you can talk about with your family, which is pretty cool, I think. It's a fun thing to do while you have your snack. Um, Mary, our Bible story leader, will remind you of this, too. Okay, so then you're also going to get a bag that looks like this that should have your name on it. Um, maybe you've already looked in there. Um, this is a gift from a company called Thrivent. Um, a company that helps us put on our vacation Bible school. So they give us some money to help buy materials and our snacks, and then they give us t-shirts. And this year's shirts are a pretty color, and most of you have these from previous years, and they all say, live generously. So in case you're wondering what that's all about, being generous means that you share things. You share your toys with friends. Jesus gives us so much love, and so if we're generous, we share that love with others. And so I want you to remember that. Wear your shirt and live generously. Live and share love to grandmas and grandpas and moms and dads. Show that love to moms and dads by minding them and helping them, and grandmas and grandpas too. Jesus is generous with his love and care for us, so we can be generous with our love and care for others. Oh, I'm going to mention about this bag. During your craft videos, Mike, our um, crafty conductor, is going to tell you that there's 
things in here, but we decided to use them for the t-shirts. So when he says that, just ignore it. <laughs> um, we're going to be doing God sightings again this year. For those of you that have been part of Bible school in the past, know what those about are about. Um, I hope you look for God sightings because I know you'll find them. There's four online videos for each day. There's the Sing and Play Express opening that's going to be kind of your introduction to your day. There's the Bible adventure that Mary will do with you. And then there's crafts. And then there's a Rocky wrap-up closing. So if you kind of do those in order, you'll have all the activities that we've prepared for you. They will be online August 1st through the 15th, and then we have to take them down. So be sure to um, do one day at a time, but then get them all in before the 15th. So thanks so much for joining us this year. God bless you, and I hope you have a great time as you learn about Jesus' love and his power to pull us through. Welcome to Rocky Railway. My name is Roxy, and I'm excited to be riding the rails with you this year at Vacation Bible School. We're imagining what it would be like to journey on a steam train through the wild, vast, beautiful Rocky Mountains. I want to welcome you all. Even though I can't see you, I know you're out there. So I want to say hi to Emily, my beautiful granddaughter Stella, Monty and Dennis, Wyatt, Ethan, Drew, Ryan and Emma, Bailey, Avery and Riley who are in the cities, and Theo and Augustus who are in Minneapolis, Murray, Cole, Macy and Ben, and another Ben. So welcome to you all. I'm so glad you joined us this year. So every day this year, we're going to learn about the awesome power of Jesus. So we're going to start off with a prayer from our pastor and then learn a song about Jesus' power pulling us through. Good morning and welcome to Bethany Lutheran Church and our Revocation Bible School. My name is Pastor Carl Larson, and I'm excited that you could be with us during this week of Vacation Bible School. Our theme today is Jesus' power helps us to do hard things. Let us begin with prayer. Dear Lord, in Philippians, your Apostle Paul wrote, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And he was able because you empowered him to fulfill his purpose. But you also made each of us self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. And we are ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses us with inner strength and confident peace. Powerful God, give us strength and courage to do what we need to do. Be with us, strengthen us, and bless us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track Oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you Jesus, you're all, you're all Space. 
faces for wide open eyes We're looking ahead for the next big surprise Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus You're all, you're all that we need Your power will pull us through We're trusting in you, we're trusting time ago, steam trains were the fastest way to travel when you had to go far or up a big hill. We don't have many steam trains around anymore, but it was a cool, pretty cool invention. I want to help you understand a little bit how they worked. So we have to go into the kitchen. Steam engines get their power from steam. So steam trains were run with the steam engine. So imagine a steam engine is a little like this tea kettle. When the water inside boils, it pushes steam through this little hole and it whistles. You hear it? Pretty cool, huh? Now inventors figured out a long time ago how to capture steam and turn it into power. Enough power to pull a train thousands and thousands of miles pulling thousands of pounds over tall rocky mountains and miles and miles of desert carrying people and things where they needed to go. So this week we'll discover a special kind of power that you and I have. We have Jesus' power right here ready to help us do important things. Maybe when you think of power you think of superpowers that superheroes have. Or maybe the word power makes you think of somebody with huge muscles. Okay, so I want you to show off your muscles. Even though I can't see you, I know that you're strong. Strong muscles and superpowers are things we usually think of when we hear about power. But God has more power than either of those. God has the power to create mountains and oceans just by speaking. God has the power to love and forgive and comfort and heal. God is even more powerful than death. Jesus is God's very own son, and he has all this power too. This week, we'll be talking about how we can trust Jesus' power to help us every single day. And we'll learn about the life-saving power of Jesus' blood. Each day, we'll learn a Bible point, an important truth, about from the Bible to remember. Today we'll explore how Jesus' power helps us do hard things. So we're going to watch our skit for today about how Jesus' power can help us. I heard some commotion last night about a rock slide. That could be really bad. Maybe we can find someone here that could help us. Oh, maybe this guy knows. S excuse me, do you work here? Do I work here? Friend, I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. In fact, I don't just work on the trains, I drive the trains. Name's Cam Track, and I'm an engineer here. Hi, I'm Sarah. With a name like Cam Track, you must know a lot about trains. Yeah, well, when you love the trains like I do, they become part of you. Wow, that's pretty deep. Mm. But maybe you can help us. My friends and I heard something about a rock slide. You heard right. Last night, a bunch of huge boulders came tumbling down the mountain and landed right on the tracks. That's not good. No, and with the boulders where they are, train can't move, we're stuck here. My crew and I were supposed to head down the mountain this morning, but we can't get out. Good thing I'm here to take care of it. You really think you're strong enough to lift a massive boulder? I don't think, I know. <laughs> okay, well, why don't you warm up with this rock right here? That little one right there, easy, easy peasy. In fact, why don't you all take a step back 
just in case things go flying. All right, here we go. <laughs> One second. Oh. oh, it's useless. It's just too hard. It's funny you should mention that, Cam, because today we were learning that Jesus' power helps us do hard things. It could be taking a test at school or helping a sick family member, standing up to a bully, or even having to say bye to a friend and really going to miss them. What are you doing? We've already established I'm not that strong. None of us are strong on our own. But we have a friend who is, Jesus. Jesus is powerful in all ways. He can help us through anything, even the stuff that's hard for us on the inside. I know life can be hard sometimes, and it might feel really heavy, but Jesus is there to help us carry the load. This Jesus guy sounds like a good person to have as a friend. Well, I should probably get back to my crew and figure out a way to fix this boulder problem. But uh, maybe Jesus can help me figure out the right idea on how to fix that too. Yeah, and when my friends and I are done here, we can come help you. Oh, that would be awesome. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Whenever we hear someone say, Jesus' power helps us do hard things, our Bible point, we're going to say, trust Jesus and reach up and pull down like pulling a train's whistle. Trust Jesus. So let's try it. Ready? Whenever we hear someone say, Jesus' power helps us do hard things, trust, trust Jesus. Jesus. Wow, you guys are great. Good job. We need to hang on to Jesus' power to pull us through when things get tough because Jesus' power helps us pull through hard things. Trust Jesus! <laughs> All week long, we'll get to know surprising Bible buddies who help us remember our Bible points. You should find today's Bible buddy in your bag. Can you take it out now if you haven't done it already? All our buddies are animals that you could find somewhere in the Rocky Mountains. So let's learn about today's Bible buddy. Hey there, friends! Glad you're all on board for a rambunctious week of faith and fun at Rocky Railway. I'm Ramsey, a bighorn sheep. Um, can you guess why? <laughs> okay, that was too easy. Check out these cool, curvy horns God gave me. Ram's horns can weigh up to 30 pounds. That's as much as some of our littlest preschool buddies. Wow! My horns have to be tough because we male sheep use them to keep other rams out of our territory. People who study rams say we can run into each other at 20 to 40 miles per hour. Bam! You can hear that sound for miles! Me and my herd hang out all over the majestic, massive Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains rock! If you head up to find me, strap on your hiking boots. Sometimes my herd grazes in an alpine meadow. Cause that's where the good stuff is. Mm, wow, good! But the meadow makes us an easy target for predators. So we also like to climb way up those crazy cliffs. We sheep like it steep. Me and my family can hang out on a little teeny tiny ledge that's only a few inches wide. Animals like bears or coyotes can't bother us here. Whew! And check out the view! God made us just right for staying safe in those hard, rocky places. My hooves are split and have a rough skin on the bottom that grips tight to the rugged rocks. Plus, I've got excellent eyesight. No glasses for me! It may sound like climbing these cliffs and balancing on jagged ledges is hard to do, but God has given me everything I need to live here. Find food and my family safe. I've heard that you sometimes have to do hard things too. When there's a bully at school, maybe you feel like you're in a rough, rocky place. You may not be balanced on a cliff ledge like me, but maybe you have to balance homework, chores, 
sports, music, and friendships. That sounds hard. Hmm, maybe coming here today and making new friends even feels like a hard thing for you. But did you know you don't face those hard things alone? No way! Jesus is right beside you. Yep, even right now. He gives you His power to climb through those mountains of worry and get through any rough stuff you gotta do. The Bible powers you up with this truth. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. That means you don't have to have your own power to do hard things. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! Wow, isn't Ramsey an amazing animal? God makes such amazing creatures. He made us, and we're all amazing. The Bible is a book that God has given us that teaches us all about God and Jesus and the love that they have for us. So today's verse from the Bible says, For I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength, which is found in Philippians 4.13. Christ is another name for Jesus, because Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus! He gives us the strength we need to power through sadness or confusion or mad feelings. So let's sing a song about Jesus' awesome power called Power Shuffle. I think you'll like this one. Did you like that song? I think that's a really fun one. So now we're going to wrap up today's opening with one of our fun Bible school songs called We Can Trust Him. When we get done with that, then you can go on to the other fun, fun things that we have planned for you.
thing we can count on It's that God will never let us down And we can trust everything He does He keeps His promises, we know